Hello friends, my name is Jose Luis. This time I want to show you how to make a bar or bar. Very nice and easy to do. In the previous video we made the accompanying stool with backrest. I'm going to leave you up here the label. Any questions you have, comment. I'll be answering. I'll leave the measurements in a featured comment. Let's get to work. We grab the boards that would be from the top that we have cut where we are going to make the assemblies at 45 degrees. That would be the bottom part, there I show you how we are going to make an assembly with threaded rods, this one we would need to do it, don't worry, now I show you how to do it. We place these pieces in pairs and mark them at 10 centimeters and 5 centimeters, both boards with a dot. And there we mark it with the square. With the gauge we mark the center, the middle, supporting the gauge on the part of the board, which would be the upper part of the bar or bar and we point it. We lay it back down and I show them how to mark for the holes, to place the threaded rods. We mark it with the square and we do it at 3 cm and 1.3 cm. There too, 3 cm and 1.3 cm. We take a ruler and make a mark where the holes will go. There we mark it from the middle line. 1.3 cm and 1.3 cm from the sides because there would be two holes that we are going to make. We are also going to point where the wick is going to enter. There we placed it with a depth of 3.5 cm to the Frosner wick of 2.6 cm in diameter. We make two holes, 3.5 cm deep and we take a chisel and clean it, slowly we take it out, we chop it very slowly, not very hard, it doesn't hit, it must break and come out. And there we placed a 0.7 cm three-pointed wick, because the threaded rod is 0.6 cm, so it fits loosely. They also must pay attention to follow the line to pierce that part. I already did the other end that was missing. There we placed the threaded rod, the washer, and the nut. If it is a little crossed, you have to first test that it fits well, and the top side of the board is even, in the event that it does not sit well, you can pierce it with a slightly thicker wick. Then you can move it to one side a little bit, because the threaded rod acts as a clamp and that is extremely safe, because the vinyl glue is what holds it. You can see that I put more glue on one side, and a little less on the other side and place the washer and nut on the other side. It's a little hard for me because the threaded rod goes in, but let's be patient. And there we screw it with a small wrench, this is the best assembly system because it can never be loosened, and the glue maintains its height. They place it evenly and adjust it well. 
I hit it a little so that it moves and adjusted it, and I locked the nut a little because it can turn. There it was. We are going to pass it on the upper part, nothing more, a molding of a small quarter of a cane, so that it would not hurt when the arm is supported. All around we passed him that way. Once it is ready, we pass it by hand to see if any part remains raised and we pass the molding again, and we pass the orbital on the edge of the front as well, and we sand the molding. In this way, we mark those boards of 14 by 14 centimeters, which would be the supports of the shelves, those would be the shelves where the bottles would go and the other shelf that would be for the bottles on the side. and these shorter shelves that would be for the glasses. There I show you how we started to assemble the walls of the bar. We place evenly and we put glue and we screw a screw, we make holes with the guide bit. And at the other end we also placed it evenly, but without adhesive and a single screw at the top. Because we are going to take it out again, because it will serve us only to support to be able to place in square, then it leaves the same measurement above and below, and we can place it square in that way, with the meter, it has to give us the same measurement on both diagonals. Once it is square, we put the other two screws and check the square again. And there we continue placing the boards, which would be the wall of the bar. This strip has 4 centimeters, it will work as the separation that we will make between each strip. When we get to the top, we remove the last board, and we put the 4 cm spacer on it, we put glue, we match the ends, and we put the screws. This would be the other side, which would be the narrowest of the bar, we do the same job with this, and with the other side, as well. These are the supports of the stirrup, we place these in an even square and we mark them 8 centimeters on each side. And there I show them that we are going to pierce it crosswise, with a 4 millimeter bit, because the screws have to fit loosely, and we spawn it so that the head of the screws is hidden. We place even again and mark it at 3.5 centimeters. We mark the center, but we are going to make a hole just to cover the head of the screws with a plug. That three-pronged wick is one centimeter long and goes seven or eight millimeters deep. It could be a little more as well because it is taller. And we also drilled it with a 4 mm bit. Because the 4 mm screw must fit loosely. These would be the stirrups and there I show you how we put it together. We place the prettiest part down, because it would be visible, we center it, and leave 2.3 cm at the tip, 
and this little ribbon is 2.3 centimeters. And there we screw it, we put a screw, we put it square, and we put the other screw. There we also do the same, we put glue, we center them, we put a screw, we place it squarely, and the other screw. We are going to do the same with the two remaining stirrups that we are missing. We started to assemble the bar, first we present it, but that we place the standing columns or the beams. We press it with the press or sergeant, we put the inside evenly. And we are going to place three screws, we drilled it with the 3mm guide bit and put the 50mm screws. I did not assemble these pieces with vinyl glue, because that way they have the possibility of being able to disassemble the bar if you wish. We placed the front part, which would be the front wall. We also put the clamp on this and matched it to the edge of the beam on the inside. And we put three screws too. We drilled it, and later I passed a sergeant through the hole on the other side, and pressed it too, to be able to screw it well and to make it firm. And there he controlled the square in that way, measuring with the tape measure, it has to stay the same size. Now I present the upper part, I check first before assembling that the ends are even with the side that goes inwards. Then they put the press there and screw it from the inside too. Because that's the part where it's going to look like it's floating, the top of the bar counter. We put two screws in this part. And there we are going to sand it with the orbital on the part of the column or the beam from the top and also on the side. There we are going to place the two small wooden blocks that measure 10 centimeters high, so that it is not left open at the back. Because there would be another socket inside that would measure 14 centimeters. And now, I pierce it from the side, in the way that you see, to be able to screw the top cover. I place the lid, as you can see, it gives the feeling that it is floating. I'm going to center it and I'm going to screw it. This, which would be the socket on the inside, which I call it that, I screw it from the front. I pierce it with the guide wick and screw them, without glue, because that way you have the option of disassembling it. Okay, now I present it, I pierce it with the 3mm guide bit and screw them, those holes are a little inclined. And I am going to place two screws at the ends, and they're in the corner too.
There I show you that I had to make a small cut, but on that top shelf, where I would place the bottle to serve, it is not necessary to make the cut, by mistake I missed it and I didn't realize it. But it is not necessary. And we are going to turn this from below, with three screws it would be left. And there we regulate the height of a glass, the measure we want, and place the brackets. And there he placed the shelf and screwed it from below with a screw nothing more. There I measured him to place a long drink glass, but when placing, I realized that it is going to look ugly on me, looking at it from the outside, so, I placed it lower so that the slot of the 4 centimeters is free. On the other side, I also calculated 35 centimeters so that the height of a bottle enters. Now I show you how to place the stirrups. I cut two wooden blocks 10 centimeters high and center them and screw them, it's very simple. In the same way the other stirrups too. And now I apply the plugs that I already have pointed with the sandpaper, so that they are nailed, I put glue. I nail them and clean them to be able to cut the rest. Good friends, the bar is ready, if you liked it, give it a like, share with your friends, any questions you have I will be answering them. See you in the next video, bye bye.